great honor to be with you uh, this morning. I'm going to talk about uh, creation, evolution and deception. I really get annoyed when I'm deceived. I really get annoyed when people deceive me. I'm sure you do as well. And I want to show you this morning that many evolutionists deceive us. And they expect us to believe the nonsense they, they propagate. And I want to show you some of the implications of that deception. And I want to center it, first of all, around this verse, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I fear lest somehow, as the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, so your minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. And I first of all want to ask this question, what happened to the dinosaurs? I'm going to shock you, because what I want to do is to go through the last 40 years or so and tell you what the evolutionists have been telling us what happened to, to the dinosaurs. Uh, this is taken from a cartoon from a book uh, which was published uh, in 1992. And I think there's quite a, a few uh, humorous uh, things in this particular cartoon. But really what I want to do is to ask this question. According to the evolutionists, what happened to the dinosaurs? Well, as Ken has told you, I studied chemistry at the University College of Wales, Aberystwyth. Uh, Aberystwyth, in case you don't know, is a beautiful uh, seaside place, and it's, uh, that's how you spell it, and it's on the uh, west coast of Wales. That is where I was converted, that's where I got my degrees, and it's also where I studied geology. And in 1964-65, in my first year of studying geology at that university, this is what we were told happened to the dinosaurs. We were told that they died of constipation. And we were given lectures and it was explained to us what type of plants they had. How on earth they knew, I don't know, because they weren't there. And they told us what oils were in those plants. How they could tell you that, I don't know, because they weren't there. And we were told confidently that they died of constipation. And this is the type of thing that I had to, dare I use the word, regurgitate in order to pass my examinations uh, at the end of that year. Ten years later, we were told that dinosaurs died of air pollution. Well, where did this air pollution come from? Well, they suffered from indigestion. And when they passed gas, uh, there was a lot of methane in the atmosphere, and this caused the atmosphere to be polluted, and they died of air pollution. I don't know why you're laughing. This was the modern scientific theory at the, at the time. This was taken as truth. It was taught in universities, in, certainly in the UK, and you saw it in journals and so on, and everybody believed it. And then what happened? Well, we were told in the 1980s that sunburn killed the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs were wiped out by lethal sunburn, according to British scientists. It goes on here, the ozone layer was destroyed and the earth was bathed in deadly ultraviolet radiation and this caused the dinosaurs to die of sunburn. I've even got a photograph of the problems that they had for you. Well, which is the latest theory? This is what we want to know. What is the latest theory? Well, let's have a look at what Scientific American, uh, an article that was published in December 2003. Less than two years ago, we were told by now it is common knowledge that the impact of an asteroid or comet brought the age of the dinosaurs to an abrupt end. Got a photograph of that as well. The question I want to ask is, really? Because within a couple of months, we were being told that the dinosaur death theory was just a myth. It's nice to hear the word myth and evolution used in the same sentence, isn't it, by the evolutionists. And we were told that, that then that it was wiped out, that the dinosaurs were wiped out by a series of comets hitting the earth. And here we are. And then, a few months later, we were told this. According to scientists from Kiel University in Germany, dinosaurs were destroyed by a huge underground gas explosion which spewed poisonous fumes into the atmosphere, causing the earth to be covered by a toxic cloud for decades. That was reported in New, New Scientist on the 6th of May 2004. Some scientists maintain that they haven't become extinct at all, they just evolved into birds. And just to prove this, this is taken from an article entitled Tyrannosaurus Wren. Um, this is Dr. 
Dr. Mark Norell, who's chairman of the Division of Paleontology and curator of the Dinosaurs, Ancient Fossils, New Discoveries exhibit uh, at the American Museum of Natural History in New York, which is being, uh, uh, you can go and see this currently. I would consider that living birds are not only derived from dinosaurs, they are dinosaurs. And if you look at one of the, uh, uh, in the, in the guide uh, to this uh, exhibition, you read that some dinosaurs were feathered, not all dinosaurs were extinct, birds in fact are dinosaurs. So according to the evolutionists, what happened to the dinosaurs? Well, as you can see, they died out because of constipation, because of air pollution, because of sunburn, because of asteroid comet impact, because of a series of comet impacts, because of an underground gas explosion. Oh, they haven't uh, become extinct at all, they've just evolved into birds. And so I would say to you that uh, you can answer this question. It's written and then rewritten and rewritten and rewritten and rewritten. And my friends, if you invite me back when I'm a very old man in 20 years' time, and you ask me what is the latest theory, I'll guarantee there'll be something else. And so it will go on. You see, what we have to do is to get back to the Word of God. You know, Ken said right at the very beginning of this, uh, of this conference that we need to, you know, take back the dinosaurs. We need to get back to the Word of God where we read, it is written. Not it's rewritten and rewritten and rewritten and rewritten and rewritten, but it is written. You see, Psalm 118 verse 8 says, It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. And yet so many people today, they reject the Lord, they 